If you haven't started your Christmas shopping yet, I'm about to make you look like a genius. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and this is my 2023 Christmas gift guide for the comic book fan in your life. Now, statistically speaking, 98.7% of the people watching my videos are men. And uh, this video isn't for you guys. This video is for your wives, your girlfriends, your partners, your significant others, your kids, your cousins, your mom, all the people who love you. So do me a favor, help me help them help you by showing them this video. Now, if you are watching this video for a friend, for a comic book lover, you probably hate trying to shop for them around Christmas because you just have no idea what to get. Comic book collectors can be a bit obsessive. And so a lot of the things that you would think to get them, they probably already have. And that's frustrating. So you just end up buying like a gift certificate and you don't feel crazy thoughtful at all. No worries. I'm going to help you with that. So in this video, I got five recommendations plus a bonus sixth recommendation for the comic book lover in your life. Let's go ahead and start the list with number one, which is probably the most obvious answer and the, the one you probably want to avoid in a lot of cases. You buy the comic book lover in your life, comic books. Now, because comics are like a, an every day, every week, every month thing, comics come out all the time. There are books that people miss out on, but you never want to take that chance of buying something that someone already has. It can be kind of crazy. A lot of shops don't have great return policies. So if you're going to buy comics, though, if you're going to buy comics, this is how I recommend doing it. I recommend that if you're going to buy comics for the comic lover in your life, you buy like specialty items. So this, for example, is a specialty cover of Batman. I want to say this was the free comic book day issue last year, but they did a special foil cover. So this is something that most people won't have unless they're like a diehard fan. And what's really cool about this cover is it's a display piece. And so, you know, even if they had the issue, even if they've read the story, this is something they wouldn't mind like just framing or putting on a shelf somewhere where everybody can see it. So if you know who their favorite character is, you can buy a nice little specialty cover to help them out. Uh, another one, this is an example of a specialty cover, but it's really just a classic from years ago. This is Batman issue 700. It's an issue written by Grant Morrison. Um, and this cover by David Finch has become a classic Batman image. So even if they own it, this is the type of book that like if your friend is a Batman lover, they'd have this on display. So if you don't see it in their comic book room, hey, it's probably a good gift idea. Or, you know, buy a nicer copy, put it in a frame. And it's like, hey, I know you like Batman. So I'll put some Batman on your Batman so you can Batman while you Batman, right? Another really cool uh, display piece. This is a reprint of Action Comics issue number one. So for any Superman fan or really any comic book fan, this is the book that started it all. Like this started the age of superheroes. This uh, I got from like a live show a while back. Um, they've done other reprints since then that look a little bit nicer. But this one looks nice on camera. It shows off well. You put this in a frame and there you go. You got a gift that the person in your life can display. So if I'm buying comics for somebody, I'm either buying display pieces like this or I'm buying like full stories that they can read in one sitting. Right. So, for example, this is Dark Knight's Metal. It's a trade paperback. It's a fun one off Batman story of Batman fighting a bunch of evil Batman. If you're a comic book fan and your life is a diehard, they might have this already. If you're buying a book for a teenager, this is a great option and it's something that they can read in one sitting and then either buy more of stuff like this or just leave it alone and say, hey, I really enjoyed that. Right. So you can buy a collected edition of trade paperback like this or even something like this. This is um, Astro City written by Kurt Busiek and Alex Ross. It's not your standard superhero fare. This doesn't have Batman or Superman or any character that you know. This is a book about a city that just happens to have superpowered beings in it. And it's kind of like the everyday person's response to seeing superheroes in their lives. And this is a great book. Uh, this uh, trade paperback is volume one out of three. And it's only a $30 book. 
So you can grab stuff like this without it, breaking the bank. And you can be super thoughtful if you're going to buy comics for the comic lover in your life. Now, this is a great time to shout out our channel sponsor. If you are looking for a trade paperback, a hardcover, big graphic novels, then you can go to organicpricebooks.com or just use the link in the description down below. In most cases, you're saving at least 30% on the titles and if you use my discount code BJKicks at checkout. You'll save two additional dollars on every order every time. So shout out to Organic Price Books for sponsoring this video. And uh, you go check them out if you're looking for collected editions for the comic book fan of your life. Now, we are done with the comic book recommendation because, again, comic books can just be cumbersome to shop for. And I don't blame you if you never want to buy your friends a comic book in your life. So kind of a step down from comic books uh, into the super thoughtful territory are these art books. So an art book is basically what it sounds like. It's a book that celebrates the art of a particular artist or publisher or style or character. This is the Marvel art of Scotty Young. And what's cool about this is it just kind of puts front and center what most of us come into the hobby for. And that is we like great stories, of course, but we love great art. So this is one of those things that can be like a display piece, a coffee table book, a great item um, that looks good in your living room, but isn't too obnoxious and dingy and dusty and nerdy, right? Again, told you guys, you significant others out there, I'm helping you out too. Because maybe, you know, it's not fun to be the nerd family. I say lighten up, but hey. Something like this, The Marvel Art of Scotty Young was great. They got art books for just about anybody. People like Alex Ross, Jim Lee, David Finch. Just type in comic art book on Amazon and you'll get a lot of results. But these are a great gift idea that won't break the bank. And what's great about these, a lot of comic book lovers, they're so like focused on collecting the stories that they forget to buy things like this that just celebrate what they love about the medium. So these can be a great comic book gift idea. Now, this next idea is something you can pick up almost anywhere, but it's these action figures and toys. What's really cool about uh, comic book action figures is, again, they're display pieces. Like if you know a comic book lover and they have something like this, you probably know what they have already. So it's easy to shop for. But this is the Gunslinger Spawn figure by McFarlane Toys. Um, I love this figure. McFarlane Toys especially does a great job because they make action figures that look super detailed. Like this looks expensive, but the price range is from like $19.99 to $29.99. So you won't break the bank buying a McFarlane figure, but it'll look like you did. And that'll be cool. Another thing you can grab pretty much at any Target or Walmart is this. It's a Funko Pop. This one is my Static Shock Funko Pop, even though that's not his name. His name is Static, but this is called Static Shock Funko Pop. So anyway, uh, Funko Pops are cool. If you have, know a nerd that you've seen Funko Pops, if you know a child, you've probably seen Funko Pops. If you've ever been to Target, you've seen Funko Pops. And so you can grab these pretty much anywhere. If you know your favorite nerds, favorite characters, you can grab one of these. It'll be cute. It'll be fun. And they'll love you for it. So action figures and other little collectibles are a great gift idea. Uh, because like I said, if they had it, it'd be on display already. And you won't break the bank. I'm trying to make you look like a hero for less than $50. So grab an action figure for the comic book fan in your life. Now, these next two recommendations are really to help you make your space look a little bit better. If you got a comic book fan, they're probably a little bit cluttered, a little disorganized, and at worst, a bit dingy and dusty. And it's like, I never want to go in this room ever. Don't worry. I got you covered. So you can grab something like this. Now, this is a comic book art printed short box. So this is a book that or a box that holds a bunch of single issue comic books. Uh, this is a short box as opposed to a long box. It holds about 150 comic books. And so you grab them one of these and they keep their single issue books in it. Uh, but what's cool about these art printed boxes is they look good and they look good from like every angle. A lot of times you'll get the regular short boxes and they're just like plain white or black and they just look, they just look dingy. There's, there's no better way to say that. They just don't look, they look unsightly. 
You grab the art printed boxes. They look good. And if you have a wide enough diverse selection of them, well, then your friends can stay organized while looking good because they can just look at a character on a box and be like, oh, that's where my Spider-Man books are. That's where my Hulk books are. This is my DC book box and so on. Really, really great ideas. Only draw or only draw back to these comic book art boxes is in most cases, you have to go to an actual comic shop to find them. They're only like 12 bucks when you do, but you got to find a comic shop to, in most cases to stock those unless you're going on Etsy and buying a custom solution. But if you can find them, they're a great gift idea. And speaking of helping you sort of reclaim your space and make things look nice as opposed to a college dorm room, posters are a great way to sort of reclaim a space. Uh, this is a Black Panther poster I got from Brian Stelfreeze. In most cases, you can grab these posters and prints for like 15 to 20 bucks. Again, not breaking the bank. But the real hack here is pairing something like this with a nice frame. Because the problem with posters a lot of times is people will get these, especially if they're like younger, right? They'll grab these posters, they'll grab a scotch tape, and they'll just kind of paste them all over the wall. And now congratulations, your house looks like the bathroom of Club Lulu's. And it's just not great, right? But if you grab a nice poster and you pair it with a nice frame, well, now you can be a little bit more thoughtful about how the space that your posters are in looks. And so one thing that I love about my space is while it's a bit cluttered because I just have way too much stuff. If you look at the walls, it's a nice organized looking room. So this is one of those things that'll help you sort of cope with the fact that the friend in your life, like just really obsesses over like these pictures and, and stuff. Right. And it's like, all right, you know, like your room's a mess. Grab a poster and a frame. Help them make it beautiful. They will want to keep the space even cleaner so they can show it off to all their friends on YouTube. Right? Here we go. Grab a comic art poster for the lover in your life. And that was five recommendations. That was real quick. Now, the last one seems obvious, but maybe it's not all that obvious. I recommend for the comic lover in your life that you grab t-shirts, socks, memorabilia. This is great because you can grab stuff like this pretty much anywhere. Like I'm wearing a Mandalorian t-shirt right now, which yes, the Mandalorian has comic books. They're Marvel books. Um, but here's something cool. This is the 15 Days of Socks advent calendar. Target does them every year for Marvel characters, for DC characters, even like Star Wars and Harry Potter and stuff like that. And so what's cool about these is you can go into Target and grab them while you're doing your normal Christmas shopping for the actual kids in your life. And you can grab something like this for your husband. And, you know, it's nice. It's thoughtful. It's nerdy. I'm wearing Batman socks right now <laughs> out of a similar pack. So they're great. They're great for that. And these are only, what, 15 bucks a piece? So a nice little novelty item, a stocking stuffer, if you will, that you don't have to travel and search the far ends of the earth for. And that's it. Those were six comic book recommendations for the Christmas shopping list for the comic book lover in your life. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully I didn't like just make things super hard for you to choose. Hopefully you got great gift ideas and hopefully you buy them soon. Today's December 9th. It's the ninth day of the 25 days of comics. If you don't place that order by tomorrow, you're going to have a hard time finding stuff and getting it on time. So make sure you go ahead and do your Christmas shopping. Stop procrastinating. And I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Till then, be safe, be awesome, and uh, help somebody read something dope today. Peace.